Oh, it's delicious. Oh, man. Hi everyone, this is David Hoffman of David's Been Here. I'm back in my hometown of Miami, Florida, and today I'm driving one hour north to Hollywood, Florida, and there we're gonna visit the first production brewery in the city of Hollywood. It's called Hollywood Brewery. Our first stop is the production facility. There we're gonna try beer directly from fermenting tanks. I've never done this before. I think they're the only brewery in the world that does this. I'm super excited about that. After that, we're gonna drive straight to the beach to their brew pub. There we're gonna try some beer infused food. We're gonna try the rest of their beers on tap. I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things about their beers and their food looks so good. Beer infused food, what is better than that? Let's go to Hollywood, Florida. Hi guys, it's Irina. We're gonna walk through Hollywood Brewing today. So we have two locations, a brew pub on the beach and the production facility. Right now we're in the production facility. So when you first walk in, we have a chill room where you can just kind of chill out and have a few beers. This location is accessible through tours only. So if you ever come here for a tour, this is where we hang out after the tour and we just have samples. So the next section is here where we have our computer room. This is the brains of our entire operation. Everything that the brewmaster does is controlled through this room. Then when we walk in, uh, we see our brew house. Our brew house is unique in the sense that we have two tanks. We have a mash tank and the boil kettle is the same tank. And then we have a ladder tank. All of our equipment is from Hungary by Zip Technologies. We are one of the only two breweries in the whole country that has this equipment. Every time that we have an installation or any kind of issue, we have to fly engineers down from out of Hungary to address it. All right. This is our hot liquor pipe water tank, wow. our whirlpool. This is the heat exchanger. So what this does is once your wort is ready, because that's what the beer is called right before it goes into fermentation, this converts it into the, the perfect temperature that you're looking for. This is our highly organized board that labels all of our tanks. So we're gonna try LOL, which is a light Pilsner lager that we have. You mean laugh out loud? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we call it locals only lager. We're gonna try a stout, our Bushka stout. We're gonna try fresh hop pilsner, our wheat beer, which we call brew hefner on draft, also draft only, and amber. We'll try amber, which is also a brew pub. Okay, so that, we're gonna go slow because we still have a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This is where the magic happens. Beer heaven right here. I just hit <laughs> Look at that. We have 16 tanks here. Well, so they're, they're everything here. is European from Hungary, so everything is in metric. So our tanks are 4,000 liters. You guys can convert that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, this is, this is one of the biggest production facilities I've seen in South Florida. I mean, it's a lot of tanks here. Oh, God. Glasses. Let's do it. So we call this the pig tank. The pig tank? Yes. The first one we're gonna try is LOL, local lager. Locals only lager. Locals only lager. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is actually our mango guy, but one of our main mascots. Cheers. Cheers. Light. This is the lightest one, so this we're starting with the lightest. lightest beer. It's still a 5.2 because oh, wow. it's a Pilsner. I really don't do anything under seven. Okay, <laughs> it's coming. It's a nice light beer. It is like perfect for the beach. We just had LOL, which is our light Pilsner lager. Right now, we are going to have a fresh hop Pilsner. So it's the same beer, but dry hops. <laughs> this is the hoppy Pilsner, right? Fresh hop Pilsner. Fresh hop fresh Pilsner. Hop. because of the late hop additions, we use citra hops. And we actually have a hop rocket over there where, where, that we use to dry hop. Okay. So our dry hopping actually happens in these tanks. And the good thing is that it doesn't feel like an IPA because you know IPA is like so hoppy. 5.3. 5.3%. So we're trying wheat, our Brew Hefner wheat, and it's a draft only beer. It's one of our favorites. Brew Hefner wheat? Yes. 
Let's try it. Mm. Feels like I'm in Germany. It's very smooth, very rich and creamy. We use a wheat malt. All of our malt comes from Stama. So most breweries use malt from Germany. But we get our malt from Austria. So it's a little different. A little fancier. <laughs> yes. Ted is going to be our roadhead session IPA. So you're going to, it's hopped three times. So you're going to really taste the hops. You said you like IPAs. You're going to like it. Roadhead session IPA. Yes. Perfect. Finally an IPA. Hopped, hopped three times. Three times? Three times. Okay. Mmm, that's a nice IPA. Not too hoppy. It's hot three times, but it's like perfect. Yeah, it's so 6.3%, and then the IBU is at 65. So it's a bitter beer. But it doesn't taste no, it's too smooth. bitter. It's smooth. For me, this is the beer. It's a smooth bitter. Yes, yeah, so this is our Bruchka Stout. It's 9.4% alcohol. Yes, but the IBU is only at 16. So. It's not a bitter stout whatsoever. 30 hours to make a stout. What? This is my beer, this is my beer. That's your beer? Yeah, this is like, this is what I would drink. On a super hot day, I'll drink this. So for me, by far the best beer was that Bushka Stout. That thing is delicious. I'm all about stouts and like brown ales and Belgian ales. Those are my beers. So this Bushka Stout is amazing. And if you don't know about Bushka, Bushka dolls are like these wooden dolls that is like a doll within a doll within a doll in Russia. Now the owner of this brewery is Russian, so they decided to call it that. We saw a production facility, but now it's time to go try some beer infused food and some more beer. Yes, near the beach. Near the beach, right on the beach, right on White Sandy Beach in Hollywood, Florida. I cannot wait to see it. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry right now. I need some beer infused food. Right on the beach. There's not even a street in front of us. Love it. Okay, this is mango, pale ale, limon lager, and amber lager. Okay, so we're starting with the amber, amber right? Amber lager, limon, pale ale, mango. Do you remember thanks. this? <laughs> hey, thanks, Johnny. Thank you. Wait, awesome. is this pale ale or amber? Amber. Okay, limon, that's amber. I got it. Pale, mango. mango. All right, so we're gonna okay. try the. Amber. <laughs> We're doing the amber ale. Mm. What I like about lagers, uh, I'm sorry, ambers, is that they're very light. I don't smooth. really. Smooth. Yeah, I mean, it's smooth. It's, it's like a. It's hard to understand what it is, but it's like. It's almost like a pale ale. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. And then a pale ale is almost an IPA. But not quite. Not quite, right? It's smoother. A lot of, smoother. A bit creamier. Okay, yeah, yeah, it, it is very creamy. You don't really taste a lot of hops there. Yeah, almost at all. This is the limon. Limon. Mmm. Very lemony drink. It almost feels like a, a lemonade beer. Yeah, no, it's like, like a, a little less, but it's like a pilsner with lime zest. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Pale ale. Pale ale. Oh, it's nice. It's very smooth. And it's very light on the hops. I like how how much color it has too. Here we go, mango IPA. This is so this is the mango IPA. The the winner here, right? Mm -hmm. The most popular. Oh my god. You're gonna need a full pint, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> it, it's, the good thing is that it's not like overly mango. Like you no, have, it's like a nuance. It's, yeah, it's like very neutral. You taste the mango. It's a very fruity IPA, we and not too many hops as well. This is like very light in terms of the hop. Like it's not like killing you with hops. Think twice. This is nice. <laughs> this is like I might need a bite. Hold on, hold on. I need to eat something first. <laughs> Russian soup. What's the name of the soup? Borscht. Borscht. And how do I do this? Scratch. Like I just so put. you can put a little bit of sour cream in. Okay. Okay. You can mix it around a little bit. Nice. It's so hot. So we have in. So we have chicken, beets, potatoes, carrots. Carrots. This is like this onion. Is, this is perfect garlic. for like a really hot day. Sorry, really cold. Day. <laughs> this is perfect for a really cold day. It's a little hot here in South Florida, but yeah. it looks amazing. 
I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's delicious. Oh man. Made fresh. Made fresh from, from Ruski. Ruski. It's like a berry vegetable focused soup. I think I'm gonna take the whole thing down. You want some? You can have it. <laughs> you look like you're really enjoying it. <laughs> Here's the perfect soup. You gotta give me all the ingredients. I wouldn't make this at home. Mm. Wow. Probably when we left, he just added all this other seasoning. Man, I love this soup. And the bread, what do you do? You dip it? You can dip it. I mean, if you do that, it's fine, right? Yeah. That's what your lifestyle is like. How do I grow? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so we got Brewmaster Burger with fries. And we got these amazing avocado egg rolls. These are so good. Oh my god, they're like so fire. Okay. <laughs> got hot ones. All right. All right. So how do we start this? Kebabs. Uh, avocado egg roll and the Brewmaster Burger. And this has... Big mushroom right there. Okay, nice. Oh wow, my you. god. Look at this burger, guys. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's nice. Swiss cheese, onions. I think it's like a portobello mushroom. Can't really tell. Oh, delicious. You know the beer that's in this? I would say parallel. Probably the one that fits the best, right? With the burger? Yeah, because I think that's what they use for the kebabs. Nice and juicy. I really can't taste beer, <laughs> but that's good. It gets you drunk though. Okay. Avocado roll. Look at this bad boy. It's like a beast. It's like a big egg roll with avocados. No egg, it's just dough. And then there's like some type of creamy filling. Mm. My favorite thing so far. They're amazing. Oh my god. Just out of control. It's so good. It's like the perfect combo of creamy and crispy. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> and these are lamb kebabs. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing ever. Lamb. Me, for me, it's lamb and goat. And the cool thing is that this lamb has pale ale. They marinate it. So we cover it with beer, and we marinate it for at least 24 hours. With beer. Sometimes more. Mm -hmm. In the beer. Feels just like lamb right there. Mmm. It's amazing. You gotta eat with peppers, right? This is actually how I make my kebabs at home. Red, green, and yellow peppers. Love everything, but the winner is definitely this. Yeah? Yeah. I love Asian food though, so that's like a little biased with it. That's the one thing that we almost didn't get. What is this? So this is our microbrewery here at the Brew Pub. It's a miniature version of what we just saw at the production facility. Also manufactured by Zip Technologies. These are our tiny, cute little fermenters. This is our brew house. That's the mashing bowl tank. This is the louder tank. Serving tanks. So we actually have some taps outside that are directly connected to these, so mm. it just goes through. So you know as opposed to a keg. One thing that's really cool here is that there's some beers that are not in the production facility. They're only made here in the microbrew, mm -hmm. right? Like the Belgian ale, which they don't have today. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. If you like beer, definitely come to Hollywood Brewery when you're in South Florida. It's definitely worth it. Right here on the beach. If you're just coming to the beach and relaxing, just come over here, have some lunch, have some beers. You will be amazed. My favorite thing was for sure the stout. Love the stout. Good stout. And then uh, obviously the avocado rolls. Oh my god. I'm like too full now because we waited a long time to eat, so 